Um, so Jetson Industries is a IoT play in the sport scene. So we put electronics inside sports equipment to capture uh, movement data like spin, speed, distance, location, if it's a golf ball for example. And we work with the world's leading equipment manufacturers. So we're sort of a B2B space where we supply our hardware to those manufacturers. They put it inside their equipment and sell it as their product. So you may not see Jetson Industries in the shops, but we're the, the brains behind uh, a lot of this, I guess, data play in sport. Um, Jetson Industries started oh, a couple of years ago now. Uh, I'm a really bad golfer and lose a serious amount of balls. So it was on one of those days where I was into about ball 12 and um, I was just chatting with the guys about how do we track our balls. Like surely there must be a, a product out there that can help you find your ball. Um, so that's where it started and two years of R&D and, and here we are today with you know our tiny electronic device that can go inside any sport ball and not just find it but capture all that movement data. The last 12 months for us have been hectic actually. So I quit my job, gone full time on the business. We'd been picked up by the Hype Sports Accelerator out of the University of Queensland. Um, we've raised, we've just completed actually our pre-seed raise of 500,000. And um, oh look, patents have been lodged. We did a testing day with Cricket Australia with our cricket ball. Um, yeah, it's been a busy 12 months, but um, all in the right direction, which has been really good. Our next 12 months are going to be focused on building the team locally. So right now we've got a lot of international contractors working on development, and that has its benefits in terms of a 24-hour turnaround, I guess, on a lot of development. You know, we, we don't shut down. There's always someone working on something right throughout the night, um, but the downside is time zones and language barriers and things. So bringing the development team back here to the Gold Coast is a big part of the next 12 months. And then expanding into other sports. So right now we're in cricket, we're well on our way into golf. And then it's looking into other sports, baseball, hockey, um, lawn bowls, which is, you know, something you don't think of, but there's a serious number of people that play the sport and use the balls. I moved to the Gold Coast from New Zealand 10 years ago. I came out here on holiday, liked the place so much that I stayed. <laughs> and um, for me, it's all about the, that work-life balance. So we're a tech company with a global reach in terms of sport because we're focused on B2B partnerships. Um, our products, you know, we work with the world's leading ball manufacturers. So we, it doesn't really matter where we're based. We don't have to be in a big tech hub. So for us, and especially attracting that talent to come and work, here locally. Uh, that work-life balance of go for a surf in the morning, you know, sit by the coffee shop. Uh, we're in Sanctuary Cove here at the moment, so brilliant coffee shops just literally downstairs. Um, so it's all about that. You know, you're not in the city, it's not busy, the schools are good, you know, we, we want to attract the people that want to set up here permanently.